Hey guys, Casey here again, Detroit Rebuild Specialist. I uh, want to do a quick video um, on some oil leaks, some very easy oil leaks you can do by yourself at home. I had a customer call me today pointing to this area here, wanting to know what was leaking in this area, okay? There's three things that leak in this area here, okay? You got your oil thermostat cover, you have your screw plug o-ring, and then you have your entire oil cooler module gasket, okay? I'm not gonna recommend somebody trying to do an oil cooler module gasket uh, on their truck, but your oil thermostat and your screw plug o-ring are two very, very easy uh, oil leaks you can fix in your driveway, okay? So we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna grab a 13 millimeter socket and we're gonna zip these things off and uh, show you how to do it. <clears throat> All right. Sorry. So you're gonna have what? Five, four bolts that hold your cover on. Okay. Now the only thing that might be in your way in chassis is going to be your dipstick tube. But depending on what kind of truck you have, what engine you have, it may or may not be in your way. Um, like a Coronado, this is not going to be in your way. But if you have a Cascadia, um, then you're going to have to to remove your dipstick tube, um, which is going to have two bolts on a little bracket under the two bolts and just bend it out of the way. That's all you got to do. So once you get that out, you're going to have some zip ties here. You got to cut these zip ties that are mounted to it. Just move this out of the way. And this cover is going to pop right off. Now, you are going to lose some oil when you pop this cover off. So make sure you put a bucket underneath it. You don't want a whole bunch of oil in your driveway. So anyhow, get you a bucket. Pop that bucket down there. We're going to pop this cover off, okay? All right, just like that. So, and obviously this is a core engine, so we don't have a bunch of oil in here. This is the gasket that leaks, all right? Very simple to replace. All you got to do... pop it out with a pick <clears throat> get you a pick pop this guy out all right just like so it's gonna be hard and brittle all right take your new gasket you're gonna clean this off with, a, with some scotch bright maybe some brake clean or something just get it nice and clean and then just pop your new gasket back in there I mean, this one's simple, guys. There's nothing to it. I could teach my grandma to do this. So, pop your new gasket in there. After you clean it, take your Scotch Brite, clean it up, stick your gasket in there. All right. Come back over here. You're going to want to do the same thing on your oil cooler module. Take your Scotch Brite, just buff it up. You don't have to take a buffing wheel to this thing. All right. Take it, clean it up. All right, and normally I would do a, a lot better job, but this is just for the video. Clean it up, wipe it down with a rag, and then put your cover back on, all right? Super simple. All right, put your bolts back in. And tighten them up. I would torque them to about 25 foot pounds. Not a very high torque. I'm not going to torque them now because this is not going in anybody's truck. So simple as that, guys. And you just did an oil cooler, uh, oil thermostat O-ring gasket. Um, this would probably cost you a couple hundred bucks to get done at Freightliner or at an independent shop. Okay. So that's that. Now we're going to move on to the screw plug O-ring. This is just as simple. Take your 30 millimeter socket, half inch drive ratchet. This one's already loose. I'm gonna tighten it up. Bust it loose. Screw it out. Like, like I said before, get you a bucket because you are gonna lose oil, a whole bunch of oil. Whatever's in your oil cooler module is gonna pour out of here. And that's it, okay? 
There's gonna be a, a black O-ring on here from the factory. Same thing. Now, if you depend on where you buy this from, if you buy this from Freightliner, it's gonna come as a kit like this. A new screw plug and a new O-ring. If you buy it from Detroit, you can buy just the O-ring. You don't need to replace the screw plug. The screw plug never fails. It's the O-ring that gets hard and brittle and starts to leak. So, like I said, if you get it from Detroit, just uh, pop the O-ring off, like so. Clean it up, wipe it down real good with a rag. Spray it off with some brake clean, some starting fluid, whatever you gotta do. And pop your new O-ring. Simple as that. All right, come back over here. Screw her back in. You also might want to clean this edge right here. Make your little scotch bright and you know, you just that's where it seals at. So you just want to make sure that's nice and clean. You don't want no grit inside there. And then screw it back on. And tight <clears throat> tighten it up. All right, just tighten it good and tight. That's all you gotta do. I don't know the torque on that. It doesn't matter, I've never torqued one in my life. You probably won't get a torque wrench in there because it's kind of tight. Um, and then just put your zip ties back here, put your dipstick tube back on, and bam, you just fixed, you just did about 300 bucks worth of repairs in your driveway in about 20 minutes. Uh, very simple, very easy. The oil filter module is not quite as easy as a lot of stuff to take off, not to mention in chassis, it's kind of a booger because you got the frame rail. Uh, you got to have a Davco filter here. You're going to have your power steering reservoir. There's a lot of stuff in this area in chassis. So if you need that done, give us a call. We'll get you in here and knock it out. Um, as I said before in my other videos, if you got any questions, if you have any other things you want us to do, leave me a comment, give me a call, and we'll just keep making the videos, guys. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. Um, you guys are saying you really like them, so we're going to keep on doing them. All right, see you next time.